Hey, ladies and gents, we're back with some World of Tanks, and we got a CAD replay. Playing the E50. Last time I played with him, he did not have the engine in this thing. Yeah, it's still better than the, like, no engine is still better than Panther II. However, he's learning the joys of the E50. Good gun. Pretty decent armor. All right, mobility. Hits like a truck when you run into something. He is in a tier 10 battle. He said this was the greatest game he's ever played in World of Tanks. So, let's see how this rolls. I have not watched it yet. And I always, it's like one of those, what do you call on uh, YouTube? It's one of those reaction videos. There we go. So, it looks like he's headed to the fuck me trench. Uh, this is either fuck me, I'm going to do a lot of damage in the trench. Or, or, fuck me, exactly what the EBR 90's about to feel. Yeah, he's down in the trench. Yep, here it comes. EBR is like, I'm going to get down in here, and I'm going to take the trench, and I'm going to have help, because my teammates are going to come and help me, but then they fucking don't. Oh, wait, ml 2s like, he's going to pull some shit off. Nope, he dead. ml 2s like, oh, I'm going to come over the edge, get tracked in the open, but then stays there, gets tracked again, and Cad's going to pull one more to the, there you go, yep, EBR, he dead. So, 1275 STI, Centurion 7-1, they were a little too slow. This only works... If, if everybody else is relatively close to the same speed and is on the same plan. World of Tanks, that doesn't happen. So, however, we do have a massive amount of tanks in this trench here. Alright, so this is the fuck me moment where we're like, Ooh, I'm going to get a lot of damage because I'm going to shoot the IS-7-103 and all this other stuff. Yeah, well, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. We got a 430U, STI, 277 on the other side, the T30, he's poking. Apparently that's not working for him because he's getting racked, railed, wrecked, railed, whatever. Um, Kaz going to try to pull up in here and see if he can get some shots here where the STI is. 103 is not backing up far enough. Come on. Come on. Let's see if we can get some something spotted. 103 finishes off the T30. It's kind of unusual unless the T30 was just pulling out in front of everything. M60, EBR90 on the far side. Both tier 10 enemy light tanks. I'm not light tanks. Medium tanks are over there. Now, Progetto moved up. 430's moved up. This is not the best thing to do because there's a Strev 103. Um, yeah, that's not a tank you want to be on your side here. Cad's going to try to pull off some sneaky shit. Does not pick up the Strev 103. However, he's trying to keep him somewhat spotted here for him because that JK line is rather shitty when it comes to um, if you don't hold it, you can see already the 430U and the Progetto 66 have already taken a lot amount of damage from the IS-7, the Stritzwagen, and everything else that's shooting down that side here. STR, ooh, he got spotted as he crossed. So that means either there's an Udez or the Shitmarn possibly hiding up along that three line on the hill, belt, hill there. Mm, I guess, uh, who knows, I'm not going to guess. I fucking stopped guessing with these guys a long time ago. Can't get to angle on the STI. I Sometimes I just don't know how players, the way they work, it's the way they work. Ah, never mind, it was a Leo 1. Yeah, it pulls over. Gets a nice shot on the track. Gets him tracked. Unfortunately, nobody else is able to take advantage of that. All right, STI is hanging tight. STB 907 is nailed. Ooh, M60 finishes off the 907. Cad pulls over, takes a cheeky shot at the Leo. He does penetrate that shot. He ends up with a little bit over 6,200 in this game. All right, STI is dead. Now 430U, 430 and 430U, Leo's running. And, and artillery says, no, you may not live. Nails both the 430 and the 430U. All right, Cad's here with the Wheezy 120. Jag Tiger doesn't look like he's moved. Jag Panzer is down along the zero line, and we got a 277 that's holding hard uh, in the city here. So Cad's going to do a little peeky pokey here. Um, yeah, I can see where the 430s died. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Um, he's not going to stick around here. Now, normally, if I was doing this, I would say, fuck the Wheezy 120 if he can't figure out what's going on. But Cad's a nice guy. He's going to go. Wheezy 120. Wheezy 120. Where are you, Wheezy 120? Nope. He does this all the time. There we go. See? Fall back. He does this stuff all the time. I don't understand that. Do not understand it at all. Yag Tiger is apparently... Yeah, he hasn't moved. So apparently he's AFK. 
got a bat chat here. And Cad's going to get in a little bit of a position here and see if he can support the 277 and his Jagdpanzer U100. All right. Jagdtagger obviously is completely AFK. STB1's down to 41 health. 277 pulls off the STB1. IS7's moving up. Stratzfagen, we got a Leopard 1 somewhere along the 3 line. Wheezy 120 is still hanging tight in that corner here. Fours, like he's just trying to proxy spot the Jagdpanzer 100. Jagdpanzer 100 gets nailed with the artillery shell. IS-7 moved over. Ideally, this would work out if they both decide to push the Jagdpanzer 100, but I'm not thinking that's going to happen. Leopard 1 now finally shows up. Breezy just reacts. Now he drives down the hill. Now, 79% health. He should be able to take the Leo 1. Jagdpanzer 100 finishes off the 103. IS-7 is still creeping on the edge, 54. They're just trying to keep him lit for artillery. But out of the blue, here comes the shit barn. Shit barn's like, now, Wheezy 120, you probably should have fell back. But no. Shit barn says, thank you for your health. Leopard 1 did not lose anything. Apparently, the Wheezy did not connect a shell anywhere. Leopard 1 is running down the trench. Cad's looking, no. But here comes the big... Yep, that's why we call it the shit barn. <laughs> He's got half his turn above the, above the fuck me trench. All right, Leopard One's up. Cad's looking. Can he get a shot in there? He gets a nice 355. He doesn't have to worry about anything other than possibly that strips fog and make taking a shot at him. But IS7 254 not poking. Jack Panzer U100 is almost dead. If I would have him, I think I probably would have tried to get out of there. 277 gives up the well-protected area I'm sure what that was all about see if we can get a shot on a Leo nothing never mind picks up the 401 Ooh. leaves him on some bullshit health however we have FE the Jagdpanzer 100 is dead 54 is not coming up Jagdtagger of course I'm surprised the enemy team is not just shooting the Jagdtagger because it's free but that's usually what kind of the bullshit they pull alright see if we can get a shot here on the FE that should have gone in no denied t54 nobody's shooting Jag tiger is now yeah, he's finally getting shot <clears throat> the enemy artillery is probably shooting at the egg tiger because you know why not 277 is playing the ridge cad pulls up in here and let's see if he can get some spotty spots on that leopard one or even possibly the strips wagon who's now on the a line yeah there he goes now the 277 does not play a bad game up to this point then it's like well what are we going to do IS-7 is just playing peaky pokey here, spotting. Cad's still got full health here, so it's kind of what we need. There's the Schutzwagen. Now, they've all moved into that area. We don't know where the Leopard 1 is. I think looks like Cad's getting a little bit of a possible coming in this way. 277 finishes off the T-54. Ooh, there's the Leopard 1. Cad get up in there to get a sneaky... F oh, look at this. Boom. Nice 404 to Leopard 1. Puts him at a one-shot for Cad. And the IS-7 finishes off the Jagdtagger. Hmm. Sturzfagen is up on that little small ridge over there. 277's got a fair amount of health left. Um, and we just have, we also have a bat chat artillery. So Cad's like, yeah, they're not doing a lot of pushing here. Let's see if we can go find us some tasty arty treats. He's off to the races here, I'm assuming, unless he's going to try to flank them, which I would, don't think he's going to do, because that's what the 277 decides to do. Why is the 2... I'm not sure, terribly sure why the 277 is running along the edge. I think he's trying to get some spots, but, but that doesn't work both ways. Especially since enemy artillery GW is still alive. Alright. Cad's looking. Ooh, there we go. Picks up the GW on the run. He's behind the bushes. GW has no chance. Ooh, nice 442. Let's see if he can finish off the GW before he climbs the hill. Oh, yeah, there you go. One dead RD scum. Oh, no. So now 277 has jumped the tracks. I thought he was just going to go along the edge there and just trying to proxy spot that IS-7, but he has jumped the track. Now IS-7 finishes off the 277. Now, typically, I would say... Yeah, but you jump, you're jumping over on the Strev, that fucking ninja tank, and so you had the Strev and the IS-7, and you're only half health. Did not see that working out 
either way. All right, Cad's pulling back to center here. He's going to try to get some lights here for the Bat Chat 15555. And hopefully, between the two of them, he's up against a tier 9 and a tier 10 and a tier 9. Yes, we know where this STRV is at. Schutzfagen's inbounds. No shot by the artillery. I'm not sure why the artillery might have should have. Oh, there's the IS-7. Cad's going to sit up here and see if we can pick off. IS-7 is going to give him the broadside. About now. Now? No, now. All right, there we go. Nice 350 and rolls a little low for it. IS-7 finishes off the bat chat. Now, he does have the... Ooh, almost a health advantage against these two tanks. However, one's a tier 10, one's a tier 9. Oh, Strixfog, and what you doing here, bud? Boom. Now, I'm not sure why the IS-7... It was a ballsy move, but it worked out well for Cad. We got the Strixfog with 629. He's got the health advantage now on the, on the uh, IS-7. And... All right, what's he going to do? He's going to pop around the corner here, give a little bit of peeky pokey there. Ooh, picks up the IS-7. All right, IS-7's figured like, yeah, I can't just sit and cap. I mean, he could. And some bullshit RNG from the IS-7. All right, Cad loses his commander. And about that time, Stress Foggin. So Cad's like, I can't fight two at the same time. Let's pull around the corner. IS-7 once again lays in another shot, gets a ammo rack on him, and this gives Cad time to get up around the top, and one shot to the rear. Stritzfagen misses his opportunity here. Now, one-on-one, -on -one, Stritzfagen, can he get a shot into that? Capola, there we go. 426, unfortunately he rolls 394. 361 is basically their one-shots here. Cad has just a little bit. He also has no gunner. Well played, sir. Well played. He ends up with a little bit over 6,200 damage and another 1136 in assisted. I think he ended up with a little over 7,200 combined. Uh, so well played, Cad. Well played.